pass by a reference. We look at what it means, why do we need it, and what's pass by value. There are two things. When we have a method, we can, you know, add a method as a parameter. The parameter can be passed as a value or as a reference. When we pass as a value, the method receives it, it does something with it. When it comes back out of that method, the original value is not changed. What if we do want to change it? Then we pass it by reference. So let's look at it for pass by reference first of all. An example that I, ha that I have set up. Let's say there's a, in our good customer, there's a method passed by value and it takes in an NS integer. Now that's like an integer but an object type. A star means it's a pointer, right? And a we're gonna name it J for brief. Here's an implementation of it. Now here's the trick. You put a star J equal to it means that whatever the J the pointer, whatever value it points to memory in memory, change the value in there as two. And then I'm going to print it out as star j. And then its value is changed. So when I call it, here I am calling it. I have my good customer. I declare it an integer i1. And I put an ampersand sign. So that's the trick. Ampersand sign in here and star in the others. So let's look at it in action. And then we'll look at, you know, the way we've been using in the past by value. I'm going to click on it. Now let's, I'm going to declare a variable called i. I'm going to skip over it. You see, the variable's been declared and it's been assigned a value 1 right here. Now I'm going to send use the ampersand sign in i and go into that method. I'm going to step into it. j receives that value of i and st still uh, since I said ampersand you see it does not say 1. It is the location of the memory that holds the value at this point. So I'm going to say star j change the value in that memory and it's going to change it also to print it I'm going to say star j and it's going to print 2 print the value star j means print the value that's at j so now the j is 2 I'm going to step out of it now what should be the value of i at this point is 2 you see when I print it out it's 2 and also in the debugger you saw it's 2. Now I'm going to change that. I'm going to go back in here and I am going to instead of star j I'm going to say uh, first of all right there I'm going to not say star j and see what happens and it will become clear to you. Okay so I'm going to step over it step into it at this point I'm gonna so you see how it said minus it, it printed the memory address it did not print 2 so that's the difference between star j and j now I'm gonna make another change I'm gonna remove that star and run it again Declaring the variable, stepping into it, j is the address. It prints 2. Right? I'm going to come back. Value of i is still 1. You see what it did? But just by remove, I did not change the value in the variable in the address where it's stored. I, I had a copy. Now I'm receiving a copy of 
integer i. I'm working with a copy, and when I when I get out of it, I'm back to the other method, and that's unchanged. So basically, this is I'm working with the value of it. Now let me make another change for you. Instead of ampersand sign, I am going to change this to i. You will see that all these things have to match for things to work right. Right now, I'm just what did I do? I'm just working and passing things around by value. I'm back to what we did before. Step over it. Step into it. Now, at this point, what's the value of j? I'm going to step over it. See, it got changed to 2. I'm going to print it. It's 2. And I'm going to step over it. I'm back out here. The value of i is 1, not 2. It did not get changed. So, passing by value did not have any effect on i. I was when I, I called this method pass by value I was working with a copy of I so I hope now it becomes clear to you I'm gonna try one more thing I'm gonna try it one more time you see at this point uh, J has received the value of I which was 1 I'm gonna change it to 2 it prints to and I am back now for the, everything to work what do I have to do I have to put a star wherever I want to work with it and I also have to go back here when I call it right here and put an ampersand sign saying I am sending you the address in memory that holds i so now you have more access to it you can change it I'm gonna run it again passing by reference this time I'm passing a reference to i stepping into it you see now it has a not has zero zero one you know it has this crazy number that's the address memory address that holds the value of i now it's contained in J. I'm going to step over it. See, that did not change. Well, there was the memory address. Star J accesses that memory and prints the value in there, which is 2. Step out of it. The value of I at this point is 2. And also it prints out 2. So that's way, that's how. And why would you want to do it? Well, you want to you may want to operate on it do some changes and when you come back from the method you want to know what happened to it you can also you know the methods can return a value but it can only return one value what if you want two values returned or three or four that's when you use variables and pass them as reference so when you come back, you could return a value from that method and also the values that you passed by reference. The, the variables that you passed in by reference will also be changed. So you will get two or three, four, five things back from a method and know what happened inside it. So that's basic idea behind it.